Hello and welcome to another battle report for the channel. Today we have a Kings of War battle report. We have Kingdoms of Men versus Forces of Nature, a 2000 point game. The scenario we rolled up was kill. A quick overview of the armies. Kingdom of Men, a heavy pike block a horde, a regiment of pikes, regiment of berserkers, a regiment of knights, uh, two troops of arquebusers, two troops of mounted scouts, uh, one troop of mounted scouts with the carbine upgrade, uh, two wizards, both with, both mounted with bane chant, and one with a talisman of inspiration. And we have one army standard bearer mounted with the healing charm, and two cannons, and one beast of war. For the forces of nature side, my opponent has two hordes of salamanders. One of them have the brew of strength. Two beasts of nature with the lightning bolt upgrade. Uh, one beast of nature with the ferocious upgrade. Uh, one horde of fire elementals. One horde of earth elementals. One druid. Um, one unicorn inspiring and then just one unicorn and one tree herder to round it all out uh, we'll go into deployment here uh, as a little bit of warning this game will be played with some unpainted models I'm working on mine and my opponent is working on his including terrain which we'll see but it is getting painted as we go so um, my opponent's right and my left side of the board is, uh, salamanders, uh, earth elementals, tree herder, fire elementals, unicorn, laser, the uh, triceratops are the uh, the laser blast beasts, as I'll refer to them as, and the ferocious beast is the carnosaur, and on my opponent's far left, he just has a horde of salamanders hanging out. Kingdom of the Men's side, we, <laughs> we have uh, heavy pikes um, with some arquebusers and scouts in front, a heavy pikes in the farm. Um, we have a hill in the back there with two cannons on there. A regiment of berserkers. Um, a couple of wizards hanging out in between there. Uh, Arquebusers, scouts, beasts of war. Uh, we go on my further right. We have knights, uh, army standard bear, and scouts in front of the knights. Um, so you see most of our uh, deployment was all on the left side of the table. Turn one. And turn one goes to Forces of Nature. Forces of Nature moves up, as you would expect. Everybody coming up as much as they can. Uh, except for the Salamanders, who back up a little bit. They're facing off the Knights and not seeing any reason to get into combat sooner than later. Uh, it's just an overview, an overview of that. The Tree Herder gets a little surge action going on these uh, Earth Elementals. Uh, we get a little bit of a lightning bolt come through, and that's the end of Forces of Nature turn one. Uh, Kingdoms of Men turn one. My chaffing scouts fly up to get uh, within an inch away from the salamanders to hopefully slow them up a lot. Uh, everyone else stays static down there on my right flank. My scouts move up, my knights move up, and a few people just reposition themselves, staying out of charge range. Uh, we'll start the round of bombardments. Nothing uh, too significant this round, but a little shooting there on the Earth Elementals, a little shooting on them, on the Carnosaur, and a little damage over there. Uh, nothing again significant. So we go to Forces of Nature, turn two. The Forces of Nature continue what they're doing, and they move up. The Horde of Salamanders charges my Scout Regiment, or Scout Troop, as expected. Um, otherwise, everyone else just moves up as much as they can. And we start the long, long list of healing that I'm going to have to call out here. Heal them back. Heal them back. And heal them back. A few laser blast shots from the Beasts of War. We move into combat. And as you would expect, the scouts route and overrun. So, not a lot. Uh, Kingdoms of Men turn two. My Beast of War charges into his Beast of Nature. Yeah, it's going to be confusing. 
Um, otherwise, uh, the scouts, you can see there, moved out of the way so the beasts of war could do that. And the small, the regiment of heavy pikes moves up to hang out at the fence. Um, his forces of nature have Pathfinder, but they do not have Strider. So, they're going to go hang out at the fence. Uh, a little more shooting in, a couple damage here. A uh, big turn of shooting here, uh, 9 damage on this guy. Uh, I think in a combination of a, a good cannon shot and a couple of lightning bolts, probably. Uh, in combat, the Beasts of War does a pretty good 8 damage to the Beasts of Nature, which is way above average, um, but fails to waver or route him. Um, in, in reality, looking back after some turns, I realized the Beasts of War had Brutal, so I in fact did waver him two turns in a row, but didn't realize it because I always thought I was rolling uh, one short. So, anyway, that's that's my mistake, so I, I, I take the blame. Um, move into turn three, for Forces of Nature. Uh, forces of Nature continue to advance. The uh, Lightning Bolt Beasts of War, uh, double charge, or Beasts of, Na force, beasts of Nature, Lightning Bolters. They double charge my scouts with carpines hanging out in the uh, farm there. The two unicorns come running over to provide some healing support, and the um, carnosaur charges into my beast of war. Healing, of course, goes off, and six points of damage comes off this guy. Uh, and five points of damage are done to my beast of war, which isn't enough to accomplish anything. Um, a whole lot of damage is done to my scouts here, as you would expect, they route. And that's the outcome of that. Um, we jump over to men, turn three. Um, a little bit of movement. This is the uninspiring wizard coming up to uh, chaff up this beast of war. Or, uh, yeah, but the, the laser blaster one. Uh, the regiment of berserkers charging into the other, more, more wounded one. Um, some shooting. Some more shooting. Um, this was just the, uh, showing that he char, I charged and I did some more damage, but, um, it wasn't enough. Um, the berserkers on the other hand, do a pretty good job and route their target and slide on up. So, um, not a lot of movement around for me, but that's about it. We go into forces of nature, turn four. Forces of nature continue to shuffle forward. Um, the fire elementals crash into the berserkers. Uh, the laser blast beast hits the mage, um, and it looks it looks like the earth elementals hit the pikes, but they don't. They just walk up to the fence. Um, otherwise, everyone just moves up. Um, of course, the carnosaur recharges my beast of war. Gets him some healing back. We get some more healing back over here. The Carnosaur is able to take out my Beast of War. And overruns like such. The Fire Elementals do a hefty 7 damage, but my Berserkers hold out. Um, my... <laughs> yeah, my Wizard only took 4 damage, but it was enough to rout her. So she goes away. And then we just get an overview of the board. Um... I haven't mentioned the other half of the board very much, but you can see we're uh, getting the knights and everyone up um, far enough after the salamanders way over there. They just keep backing up. So uh, we go into men turn four. Um, in men turn four, the pike horde. Oops, sorry about that. The pike horde jumps over the arquebusers up to uh, ready to receive a charge or two. Um, the pike regiment climbs the fence to go smack those guys. These berserkers go back, go into the fire elementals. And on this side, the knights go into the salamanders. And the scouts um, go into the salamanders as well um, for a little bit of a double, double charge action, which should be quite good. Um, we get a bit of my own healing off for a change, but it was just one. Uh, in shooting, we do quite a bit of damage to the Carnosaur. Um, we do a little bit of damage to the Tree Man. 
and we do a whole lot of damage to this uh, laser dinosaur and actually waver him. We go into combat and the combined knights and scouts do a eh, probably okay amount of damage but a little low only rolling out a 12. So they bounce off and unfortunately they're going to get, one of them are going to get recharged. Um, the berserkers do all right, do seven points of damage, nothing special. And the pikes um, crossing the fence and beating up on a defense six monster don't do very much, which isn't surprising. So we go into turn five. Um, not a lot of movement, everyone's just basically recharging who was charged, but um, a bunch of healing goes off on the uh, salamanders that the knights just hit. Uh, a bunch of healing goes off on the laser dinosaur. Um, these guys are uh, countercharging the pikes that hit them and they get a bane chant. The salamanders that charged the knights that had just charged them um, successfully do 11 damage, which is pretty good and uh, succeed in wavering them. Um, the Carnosaur charged the Archibusers, but only ended up doing three damage. I think he really whiffed his attacks. The Fire Elementals um, rout the Berserkers, not, not terribly surprisingly, and overrun a little bit. The um, Earth Elementals end up doing quite a bit of damage to these Pikes, but my opponent rolled a double one, so they're not going anywhere. The combined um, tree man and uh, salamander horde here charged my pike horde and did a really, really bad uh, seven damage. Uh, way, way below average. Um, but, you know, I'm going to take what you can get. Um, that's an overview after the end of that board, or after the end of that turn. You can see everyone has faulted back so we go into kingdoms of men turn five my knights pass their headstrong roll so they're going back in and the scouts are going back in because really they have nothing else to do my pike horde i uh, deliberated this a little bit um and i probably shouldn't have done it but they charge the tree herder instead of the salamander horde um I was honestly just hoping for a waiver or something. It was just, it was hard to decide what to do. And I had plenty of other stuff to shoot at. So I figured, hey, I'll charge them. And, and you know, the um, Pike Regiment goes back into the Earth Elementals. Um, my Army Standard Bearer comes flying over. Um, since there's no one left over there requiring his services. And my Archibusers um throw caution to the wind and go charging into the giant angry dinosaur in front of them here's just another picture of the knights going in uh, a couple points of healing off for me the combined knights and scouts take out the salamander horde pretty uh readily the mighty mighty archibuser troop um Finishes the heavily, heavily wounded Carnosaur. So, kudos, kudos to them. Um, the pikemen, of course, don't accomplish much on these defense six guys. And the same for my horde. Um, they got a few hits through, a little bit of damage, but nothing, nothing to write home about. And um, the end of turn five for Kingdoms of Men. Oh, and yeah, these guys overrun. Um, this, this ends up being a, a fairly big mistake on my part. I'll call out, um, by, by performing an overrun with the knights, I actually bring them into visual charge range or, or charge, charge, posi chargeable position to that unicorn. Um, the unicorns have three attacks, thunderous charge two. So they're not slouches as far as characters come. And those knights already have 11 damage on them. So I, I was fine overrunning with the scouts, but I should not have overrun with the knights. Um, those are points I should be, should be trying to conserve and not just tossing them to the wind like that. So um, turn six, we go on. Um, the salamanders charge my horde, old pikes. The earth elementals 
charge the regiment of pikes um the tree herder stays back he is intending to save him to try to surge those fire element elementals into the flank of of my pikes um and the laser dinosaur uh goes into one of my cannons and as described the unicorn goes slamming into the flank of my knights and just to undo everything I've done, healing, um, surge goes off, so they make it into the flank of my pikes. And to throw insult to injury, he bane chanted these guys. So, um, as you would expect, my pike regiment is routed. And my cannon was eaten. And at this point, my camera died. Um, for my lack of charging it, so I'll switch to my camera phone. So the pictures will go down a little bit in quality, but I think you can still make out what's going on. And there's only one and maybe another turn left. So um, carrying on with my opponent's streak of rolling double ones, um, the uh, unicorn uh, did do two damage to my knights, um, but he rolled double one to rout them. So uh, surprising, surprising, surprising string of luck on that side. Um, these pikes take a bit of damage, but they're still hanging out. Um, just kind of the overview after the forces of nature turn six. Overview. All right, um, we go to kingdoms of men turn six. My pike horde goes into the salamander horde just for something to do. I guess there's maybe get lucky <laughs> maybe um yeah we'll see oh um and my my army standard bearer uh goes to uh, sacrifice herself for the good of the good of the team the knights and scouts um double charge the unicorn here in my shooting phase my cannon handily takes out this here dinosaur um into combat, my knights and scouts fail tremendously um, at beating up this unicorn. I don't expect a lot of the scouts, because the scouts are hitting on fives, and that's a defense five character. And yeah, the knights the knights are disordered, but they do have crushing strength one. 16 attacks, uh, I guess. But it was pretty pretty bummer. So not not only did I not kill this guy, he's not wavered. So if there is a turn seven, I'm getting getting worried. Um, the pikes do a surprisingly low number of damage to these here salamanders. And that's the end of Kingdoms of Men 6. So I have my opponent throw out the old uh, four, five, or six. And we get it. So turn seven. Turn seven, everything comes flying forward. Um, salamanders back into the pikes. Um, tree man into my flagger. Earth elementals into my flagger. Fire elementals into my flagger. The unfortunate unicorn into my knights. Um, some healing just for fun. And as expected, those knights' luck ran out. Um, the unicorn was able to do a single point of damage and route them and reform. Um, as I expected, my army standard bearer uh, was utterly destroyed. Uh, only fortunate that the fire elementals fell short on fell short on their overrun. Um, but it was for naught. The salamanders did a mighty, mighty eight damage to these guys, and that was enough to wipe them out. Um, Kingdoms of Men turn 7 starts. Uh, it'll be super short because there's nothing on the board. Um, enough shooting goes into these fire elementals to take them out. Um, these guys had charged in but only do a single damage to this character and don't accomplish anything. So um, that's the end of the game. This is a general overview of what it looks like. Um, you see not a lot left on my side. <laughs> Um, just some guns and guns, wizard, and some scouts. So, 
uh, we go to tally up the points on who has what left. Um, my opponent has over half of his points left on the board. Well, I only have a measly 485 points left on the board. So it is a sufficient victory for the forces of nature. Um, quite the quite the clobbering. Um, my thoughts, it was a very quite fun game. Um, it was the first time I've gotten to pull out a Beast of War, uh, which was a, a, nice, a nice hammer um, in the Kingdoms of Men list that isn't always so apparent. Um, I, I scoffed originally at putting the Ballista on him because I thought, what, what would I possibly be doing where he wouldn't be marching or, or charging or something, right? Well, he, he did sit still a turn in this game, and for 10 points I could have lobbed a couple shots off. So I, I might, actually, might actually consider taking it because he might, he might have a turn or two here or there. Um, my other thoughts are this is maybe the culmination of me bringing too much chaff for Kingdoms of Men. Um, I, I don't think those Archibuser troops are worth it. Um, not, I mean, not, not really. They're a little bit expensive for chaff for being very unmobile. And, I mean, the scouts do a way better job at just standing there and dying and I can get way cheaper chaff if I just want foot slogger, foot sloggers to stand there and die. So I'm gonna rethink this list a little bit. Um, I really like the pikes. The knights, eh, you know, they're okay. But um, I think bringing two cannons was also a beneficial alternative. Um, only bringing one cannon is not enough um, to to actually expect any hits. And while I only probably landed three cannon shots, maybe four in total this whole game, it made a pretty good difference. Whether it made a 170 points worth of difference is, you know, up there. But anyway, um, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I have another battle report from the same night we played, so I'll get that up soon. But um, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time.